Hi guys and welcome back to Ask Traders. In today's video we're going to be talking stock screeners. We're going to go over a few of the best free stock screeners available. But first, what is a stock screener? A stock screener details lists of companies with shares trading on the stock market. It's a mobile or a web application and it updates the data of the listed companies constantly. There are several free ones available and screeners are customized to reflect activities in stock markets of a certain country. So let's look at the first one then, which is TradingView. TradingView is a stock screener with a well-organized analytics system. It covers fundamentals, which can be categorized as the above. So the balance sheet, income statements, margins, which is, you can find more here, dividends, oh, margins is here, dividends, valuation and performance. Watch lists and filters can be set and refreshed every minute and there's a huge uh, selection of economic indicators on offer. Mapping and comparing stocks on this screen, this charts are really, really easy. Train view is free. I must mention I do have the paid version but there is a free version available. I believe you may get some ads with the free version but it's nothing major. You'll still get all the, the features that you can see here. Some of its unique features are you get global market coverage. There's an active trading community where you you can speak to other traders here and here and screen is for chart patterns and setups for forex pairs and cryptocurrency so you can it's not just stocks that you can view you can view forex pairs bonds commodities any other asset class you can also get access to real-time alerts for global markets but honestly trading view is a great platform i can't recommend it highly enough it's something that i use daily and if you are looking for a stock screener i would definitely recommend trading view now let's move on to another free stock screener which is called Uncle Stock. Uncle Stock is a stock screener that allows you to choose from a wide selection of stocks. The screens are based on the popular methods of fundamental analysis. For example, there's the Graham checklist based on the top four selection criteria for stocks proposed by the father of value investing, Benjamin Graham. You can see that if you go up here, click the drop, drop down menu, as you can see I've currently got it on Warren Buffett. Click on Gluck Gurus and hit Benjamin Graham or there's many other gurus available for you to choose from. You can browse across a vast selection of stocks for, on screens for markets ranging from the UK, the EU, Australia, the US and Asia as well as over-the-counter stocks as well and it lets you refine results based on sector, industry and geographical location. You can click on this tab here and search for different fundamental information so for example if I was to type in, let's say I typed in financial health again, click here and all the information you need would pop up. It has a really user-friendly interface and you can view multiple watch lists. You can even export data to spread spreadsheets and save queries. It ha also has a user-friendly interface and multiple watch lists. You can even export data to spreadsheets and save queries. For a free stock screener, the app offers a lot and I also haven't seen any ads. Like I said, this is the free version that I'm using here. I haven't seen any ads, so it does have that benefit over TradingView, although it doesn't offer other asset classes. But it really is, I know I did recommend TradingView as well, but I would recommend Uncle Stock as another great free stock screener. So let's move on then on to our next stock screener, which is Chartmill. This free stock screener allows investors to find stocks on the basis of basis of technical in metrics or technical indicators. Um, you can use filters like trend intensity, squeeze plays and pocket pivots and you can see them all here. So I can click on say the RSI for example and choose a rising RSI, a falling one, one that's above 10, below 10 and loads of different metrics available and you can do that, this across all of the different technical indicators here. You can filter the stocks on numerous criteria Moving on to volume, here, chart mill trends, bullish and bearish flags and pennants and other uh, candlestick patterns. You can even refine the search based on technical criteria such as the proximity to moving averages, Bollinger Bands, average true ranges and price performance. And here they even have a support and resistance tab here so you can choose how far prices away from support or resistance areas. They have a fundamental tab as well where you can choose from a variety of different fundamental factors such as EPS growth over the next year, next two years, quarters, revenue growth, dividend growth. Um, 
profit margin as well. This is mainly a technical indicator focused stock screener, but they do give you a, a good selection of fundamental filters that you can choose from. The filters are mostly based on classic trading based strategies, and offer, um, but they do offer value for long term investors too. The platform allows you to sa save default settings to save time and additionally you get up to 6,000 credits, credits when you sign up and these credits are used to replenish, are, are replenished every month and to use a scanner you just have to spend a few hundred credits but it honestly is a great free tool to use if you are looking for a free platform for your stock screener. It's an extremely effective option for anyone that wants to play the markets for free. When it comes to the markets available you can choose from US, Canadian and EU markets so there's not a massive range but I mean it, it is fairly substantial especially for a free tool it's great to use. Like I said it is free and although the there is a credit system which is a little bit annoying as you don't have that system with Uncle Stock or TradingView it still is a fantastic tool. But let's move on then on to our next one which is the Zax Stock Screener. Yeah. So here I am on Zach's stock screener. The free screener offers superb functionality and it's one of the best and most distinctive features uh, is specifying the exact figure for stock screening. There are dozens of investing and fundamental business metrics and this stock screener really gets down into the specifics of these different metrics. So as you can see here, if I type it, if I go to size and share volume, we can choose different metrics based on the size and share volume, EPS growth, earnings per share growth, the same thing income statement growth and it really it really gets into the specifics of each stock so as you can see i've just put in the average volume just a, a random number to be honest with you so if i click run screen it will then find me all of those stocks with an average volume around that level so if we just click on american airlines group it will bring me onto this page where i can view a variety of different metrics for the stock the coverage is really impressive. Um, you can see earnings, you can see dividends, analyst views on stock and valuation based metrics. And of course I'm getting ads here. It is a free screener after all. Being allowed to save screens and export results to a spreadsheet adds further value to their service and it's a great screener for those keen on fundamental analysis. You can filter items like price exchange and daily volume easily too. And you can also get a commentary on market movements to guide you. So as you can see here, I won't go through them all, but there is a load of different metrics that we can look at to analyze American Airlines stock. The wider array of metrics also makes it possible to back test trades, sorry, and that's just another advantage of using this system. It really is a great platform. I've probably said that three or four times already, but it is as well, and these free platforms are a great way of getting started in stocks. You don't have to be an experienced investor, you can pick up a free platform and start to learn and study the different parts of stocks and why they move and hopefully it can help you in investing or trading or whatever you're looking to do. But we'll move on to our next one then which is Motley Fools. So the Motley Fools cap stock screener is the perfect choice for those who want to search based on common fundamental and financial metrics. It's not as extensive as some of the ones we've already looked at, but it still is a, a good start if you are just looking for basic metrics. It lets you tap into the collective wisdom of Motley Fool's Caps community. Um, as you can see up here, it says, welcome to the Caps community. I haven't got a uh, account with them, but I have used it previously and it, it is a good tool. Star ratings on stocks are provided by members. So you can see the star ratings here. So traders and, and investors can get an idea of potential investment opportunities based on what other people are looking at. Motley Fool Caps rating for stocks is particularly helpful, ranging from one to five curated by investor communities on the site. It's like an Amazon review for stocks that you want to trade or similar to like an eToro style um, environment where it's a community, tra uh, community trading environment. So if I was to click on Invitate here, we can see that like I said, it's not the most extensive platform in the world, but it gives you a, a solid amount of information. You can see commentary here, which is some of the other people in the community. The scorecard, which is what Motley Fool Caps um, provide you with. We've got the chart ratios, historical prices, earnings and growth sales and statements. Investment communities are a lot of help and they provide a lot of trading insights. Um, and especially if you're just starting out on your own, 
you're going to need some help, someone to guide you or people to guide you and people to learn from. So this really is a good platform for those just starting out. You're not going to get thrown loads of information where you start getting confused about what certain things are. You'll get the basic information and you'll be able to ask questions of others and more experienced traders on the platform. If you're just starting out or just learning to trade or invest or learning a little bit about companies and how their share prices move, then I would definitely suggest giving the Motley Fool's tax platform a go. So let's move on to our final stock screener then, which is Yahoo Finance stock screener. The good thing that Yahoo stock screener has going for it is its versatility. It has 52 different fundamental stock screening filters. It also offers easy to use interface, watch list, integration and value for money screen. All you need to do is select stocks from, from an index or industry. Then using the screener, you can filter the results based on the share price, dividend yield, market cap, and beta. So let's just have a little play around here. So if I go create stock screener, I'll pick the, I'll leave it as the United States. Let's say large uh, mega cap stocks. We'll leave the price uh, sector. We'll put it in technology and industry. We'll leave that as well. Let's see what we come up with 171 stocks. I'll click find stocks. And it will give me all of the stocks that come under those metrics. I can then click on one of these stocks and see everything I need here. I can go to historical data. I can view the financials of the stock analysis and loads, loads of different metrics that I can view. The fields are based on corporate data such as sales revenue, EPS, uh, estimated EPS and profit margin. Screens for bonds and funds using the same interface but different criteria. The filter is based on corporate data such as sales revenue, EPS or estimated EPS and profit margin. And you can also view bonds and other asset classes but there'll be different criteria to filter them with. There's loads of different screens available and it enables users to see stocks and compare them to their peers. It has a vast range of indices and offers daily market summaries and news track uh, tickers. The watch lists are simply integrated into the platform and you can even add or remove stocks from the watch lists that you have. Like I said before, the app tracks other asset classes such as commodities, forex and bonds and it works equally well for either Android or iOS devices. I haven't got an account, as you can see here it says sign up, but I was able to access all of this. There may be some stuff that you're not able to get, but as a basic platform and if you are a beginner or just getting into stocks and investing and looking at company analysis then another great platform one thing i do say i do want to say is that my favorite is trading view i've been using it for years and i mainly use it for the charting platform but the stock screener is fantastic on it as well but they all offer different and great aspects on their platform if you want to find out more about stock screeners you can simply ask us a question and put it in the comments box below. If you want to see more videos, I'll be back next week with another one. Just simply hit the subscribe button. We also have news and analysis on our website, asktraders.com. So definitely check that out. And I will be back next week with another video. Take care. Speak soon. <laughs>